Starting any business, but especially YouTube, can be a massive drag. Inevitably, you're gonna try something and it's not gonna work. You're gonna try another thing and that's also not gonna work and it's gonna be so frustrating. I remember there was a particular time where I got so pissed off about not getting views for about four or five months from making YouTube videos that I decided to make the ultimate video, the video that it was unreasonable that it wouldn't get views. I was gonna put so much effort into it and make it the best video that I could possibly make. So naturally, I spent about a week filming the video, no lie, about a month editing it, and then I released it. And I don't know what I expected, but I thought it was going to get some views because it was very clearly better than my other videos. But deep down, I knew that it would probably take some time because all my other videos got no views. So I released it and overnight I got about 10 views. And that was only about two views more than the videos I spent only a couple days on in the past, so that really pissed me off. And this wasn't the first time this happened. Every time I made a video, I thought that it was going to be my big break and that I would wake up to tons of views, but that was never the case. And every single time I lost so much motivation. Because of this, I almost quit every single time I released a video. That's how bad it got. But thankfully, my why, the reason I was doing all of it was really strong so I kept going. When you start YouTube you know what to expect because everyone says that your first 50 to 100 videos are going to suck and you're going to get no views. Everyone knows this but still everyone starts their YouTube channel with some small expectation that maybe they'll be different, maybe that it won't happen to them but every single time they end up disappointed. Motivation may as well be equal to importance because every time you lose motivation, you attributed importance to something, you thought something was going to go a certain way and it didn't and suddenly you don't want to do it anymore. You've put so much importance on a particular outcome, it didn't quite go as you'd hoped and now you're smacked back to reality. So after I released that ultimate video that only ended up getting 10 views, I kept going because my why was so strong. So I kept making videos and eventually that original one actually got quite a few views and it ended up at 100 100,000. After that video started doing well, the people were coming from that video and watching my newer video, so I was on a roll. Every single video was at least getting a few thousand views at this point, so I was happy. But then I released one particular video, the one video that basically made my entire career because it took me from 3,000 subscribers to 50,000 subscribers in a month. I was on a roll. I was feeling good because all of a sudden I was getting all this traction after months of getting absolutely nothing. So naturally, I made another video, but I put even more effort into it this time and I knew that it was going to do well but then it didn't. It absolutely flopped and that killed me inside. All of a sudden I was crushed. I felt like my channel was dead and I basically lost all of my motivation overnight. Notice how before you notice the thing that killed your motivation, you were perfectly fine carrying on and doing the tasks leading you to your goals. But then you notice that thing and you gave it your mental energy and you let it make you feel negative. You would have been perfectly fine making that next video if you just gave the view count no energy, like it wasn't really that important to you. But because you gave the views importance, because you gave it energy, it caused you to lose motivation. That's what happened to me. Notice how before you noticed the thing that killed your motivation, you would have otherwise been perfectly fine to carry on. For me, that was views. I gave my views so much importance and when my views were going well, I could carry on as normal. But when my views went down, I literally didn't want to make videos anymore. The best thing for me to do would have just been to stop caring about whether the video gets a million views or 10 views. I should have just enjoyed the process of making the videos because I did, but instead I gave so much energy to the views that it really messed up my mental state. After that video flopped, I would have been perfectly fine making the next video if I didn't give the views any energy. And who knows, maybe that next video would have done well. But because I gave it energy, it made me lose motivation and the next video wasn't as good as the last one and because of that I kept getting no views. Remember why you started doing what you're doing in the first place. How fired up you were, how excited you were to get started, 
You didn't think for a second that there wouldn't be moments where you weren't motivated, did you? You knew from the beginning that it was going to be difficult, and at the start, you were actually excited for all the setbacks to come. The setbacks are what make the thing worth it and give the thing value, the thing you want to achieve in the first place. You're going to remember all these times where you almost quit, but you didn't. Remember, you and me are running the same race. We're running the same race that the rest of the population is running, but the difference between you and I is that we're so much more driven than them and we know that every time we get a setback where you really want to quit that half of that the people in that race just quit every time you get to one of these moments you're one step closer to achieving the goal and it's moments like this the setbacks that make you lose all your motivation and question everything but you carry on anyway that's what makes it all worth it. Because if you got everything instantly, it would be like putting in the cheat code in a game. And if you've done that in the past, you realize that the game becomes boring quite quickly if there's nothing to overcome. You literally need to keep going until people think you're weird, until people think you are literally crazy because you've been going so long and you've not had anything from it. Because that's when you know everyone else but you would have quit. And that's when all the results end up coming. Because that's when you're running the race on your own. You've won because all your competition has left. I think being disappointed by that one video not doing so well after all the previous ones did well made the universe test me in a way because I immediately lost all of my motivation. And then I would keep releasing videos and each one took me about three weeks at least, usually about a month and a half. I would keep releasing video after video after video, and each one of those videos got nowhere near the amount of views I used to get. Each time I released a new one, I thought it was going to be amazing. I was putting so much thought energy into thinking about how many views the video was going to get, and naturally, it just kept flopping and getting no views. But then the test came to an end, because there was a certain point where I just stopped caring, and I just carried on releasing videos anyway, regardless of whether someone was gonna see them or not. And that was was when my channel started picking up again. So the key is this, to not lose motivation anymore, stop giving things so much importance. In this video right now, I'm giving you the permission to just relax, man. Stop wanting things so much because everyone wants things. Wanting isn't very special. And the more you want something, the less energy you have to put into actually getting it. And wanting leads to fantasizing, which is another waste of time. And it's a really unhealthy thing to do. I remember back when I was still getting started, I would imagine all the money that YouTube would make me. And I would go on Auto Trader and look at like Lamborghinis and Ferraris and all the cars that I was going to buy and I would literally spend hours every day doing this. But the problem is going on Auto Trader for like four or five hours is exactly how you don't get the thing. The way to truly get the thing is to put an intention in place and let that carry itself out. So if I had enough money, I would have just gone to a dealership and bought the damn car. But because I didn't have enough money, I should have just put the energy towards making my YouTube channel work. But instead I would stare at pictures of these cars for literal hours like a weird like almost like a cuck. The more time you spend wanting something like this gives that thing extra value and importance in your head, which is actually a really bad thing because not only are you wasting hours of your day fantasizing about it, it also creates subtle differences in how you act. So if you really want to be a popular YouTuber and you're putting all your energy into that, instead of just the daily actions and getting better, you're gonna naturally feel more nervous in videos and that's gonna show and actually impact the video negatively. All wanting is, is a waste of energy. You need to get this into your head. Wanting is a waste of energy and it causes you to lose motivation when things don't go your way. And the funny thing is, the way the universe works, you're actually going to lose motivation even if you do get what you want. Because the universe has a funny way of giving us exactly what we've asked for, but it's never quite how we expected it. The goal of my first YouTube channel was to free myself of a nine to five job whilst being able to also do something fun. So when that first ever video blew up, like absolutely blew up, got a million views, I actually got quite a nice community from that. But I wasn't initially grateful for that community because it was centered more around a specific genre and I wanted to be like a broad, 
YouTuber and make videos on anything I wanted at the time. So that led to me wasting tons of time trying to build this broad audience and completely neglecting my existing audience. So of course, all of those videos ended up flopping one after another. But when I came back and actually embraced my audience and gave them what they wanted, which was still aligned with what I wanted, I ended up actually making money and achieving my original goal. Spending time wanting something puts that thing on a pedestal and you know what happens happens when you put something on a pedestal, you don't end up getting it. You know in your heart right now what you need to do to make it. So just do those things, but do them without obsessing over things like your view count that month, your sales that month, your subscribers or whatever the metric you might be obsessing about is. You've signed up to do this for a long time and you knew that it was going to take a while and it's going to be much easier, a lot less painful and take a lot less time if you just relax into those daily actions. The problem the problem is that the conventional advice is that when you lose motivation, you should use discipline to power through it because motivation doesn't last. But that's not where the problem really is because you know deep down that when you've tried to work from a disciplined way in the past, you know, when you didn't want to do your work and you did it anyway, the output of that work was much worse. The truth is that motivation, discipline and all of that is actually bullshit. You need to operate beyond that. You need to reach the next level. Instead of relying on discipline, motivation and all of the things that go up and down make things a constant in your life. I go to the gym no matter how I feel and when it comes to the time to go I don't even think about whether I want to go or not. Gym is just something I do and after the gym session I don't even bother with how the session went as long as in that session I know that I tried my best and I tried to lift more than last time. It never takes me any discipline to go to the gym. When it's time to go, my body just packs my bags, lifts the weights and comes back home. And that's because the gym is just something I do. It's just a part of my life. And that's what you need to do with whatever you're trying to achieve. Just make it part of your life. And then when you're feeling a little bit crap about doing it that day, or you're feeling particularly good, none of that is going to phase you because you know that no matter how you feel, you're still going to do it. I'm late so if anything needs me to use discipline, I genuinely just don't do it. Yeah, I've still managed to do pretty well for myself so far because I've just made things a constant in my life and I've just accepted that they're going to be part of my life whether I like it or not. It's just something I do, it's part of my schedule. And the problem with discipline and motivation is that they still operate from a sense of importance about something. If I kept going to the gym because I was absolutely obsessed with how my body looks, I would really find it hard. I would have a lot of mental health issues, to be honest with you, because one day I'm a little bit more bloated. One day I don't eat as well. One day I eat really well. And all of that would really affect my mood. And that's exactly what you might be doing right now with your whatever you're trying to pursue. So you need to operate beyond discipline and motivation. Cut it off at the point, which is making you need to use those things, which is important. I don't particularly care how much this particular gym session is going to grow my bicep. All you, that you should care about is just how well that gym session went. Like if you generally tried as hard as you can, because if you've done that, then everything else is beyond your control and you shouldn't give those things energy. Remember, remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing in the first place. And keep in mind that for every step forward, there's going to be 10 setbacks. It's always how it is. And if you let every one of those setbacks get you down, you might quit before you even take your first step forward. It's cringe, but you just have to trust the process. Every time there's a setback, be happy because you just got closer to your goal. If you watch a film or read a book, there's always a hero in that film or book. And that hero has to suffer setbacks. The setbacks are the story that you're reading. And without those, there would be nothing. Without the setbacks, there'd be no story worth telling. How do you think I got all the content for these videos? I suffered tons of setbacks on my journey and now I'm telling you about them. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brian and this isn't a YouTube channel. We're a movement of people who are sick of living an ordinary life. We realize that most of the population is following this set path that we don't want to follow because we've realized that most of the people following it are miserable. We don't want to live those lives of quiet 
quiet desperation where we're not quite happy with our life, but we carry on anyway because now you've got kids, a mortgage, and you can't escape. We recognize that there's another side to it all. You don't have to be this quiet, desperate person in the nine to five office, acting happy just like everyone else, even though you know that most of the people in that situation aren't really that happy. Most of them have just accepted it, to be honest. The other side of that life is freedom. It's building your own online business, doing whatever the hell you want to do and making money from it. And then you can use that money to do whatever you want. I've been traveling Asia for the last four months Months. We live lives that we've designed ourselves. Most of the population has to follow certain sets of rules because they have a job and they're tied to those rules. And if they don't follow them, they're going to lose their livelihood. They might get evicted out of their house. They might not have anything to feed their family. And that's terrible. But building this type of life gives you ultimate freedom and you can do whatever you want and set the rules for yourself. So if you resonate with this message, welcome. My name is Brian and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you next video.